Hi there. As a born and bred New Englander, I grew up with our world famous Boston baked beans, and I'm proud of my recipe for Boston baked pork and beans, which makes a pot full of pork and beans like nothing else. However, this recipe came as an idea when I prepared Boston baked beans for a guest who doesn't eat pork. I had a revelation that went something like this. My guest doesn't eat pork, so I'll make this pot of beans with ground beef instead. But wait a minute. The sauce for these baked beans makes a good barbecue sauce as well. Well, what do you get when you combine ground beef, barbecue sauce, and beans? You get chili. And so came the recipe we have here for a chili made with Boston baked beans. I really can't give this a name other than Boston baked chili, even though this chili is simmered on the stovetop rather than baked. For this dish, we get to break in a brand new cast iron pan from Lodge, a seven quart enamel Dutch oven with a grill cover. Boston baked beans are made with navy beans, though I've also made this dish with great northern beans and even soybeans. If you want to prepare this recipe on the same day, canned beans will work just fine here. About two hours before serving, preheat a large cast iron skillet on the stovetop. And while the pan is heating up, we chop and dice a large onion. And in the large cast iron skillet, we brown two pounds of ground beef. The ground beef doesn't have to be fully cooked in the pan because it's going to simmer in the chili for an hour. We only need to cook the beef enough to render out the extra fat and liquid. And after draining the grease, we stir in two tablespoons of chili powder and two teaspoons of cumin. When it's all mixed together, we set the pan full of meat aside to be added to the chili in a little while. And now we heat up our new Lodge Dutch oven. And once it's good and hot, we add a little bit of cooking oil and then add the chopped onions to the pot and saute them for about five minutes until the onions are softened. Mix in and stir together brown sugar and molasses with the onions and remember to spread a couple of drops of olive oil in the cup before pouring the molasses. That way you can pour the molasses in the pot without having to scrape it with a spoon. The brown sugar will melt and mix in with the molasses forming a thick sauce. And now we add the additional ingredients and keep stirring as you mix them in. Kosher salt, ground pepper, dry mustard, tomato paste, sugar, vinegar, and the secret ingredient, ground cloves. They came out a little bit soft. Yeah, they're softer. Mm -hmm. All right, well, now that we've done that. You gotta figure now we add our prepared navy beans and stir everything together. And once it's all mixed together, we add the ground beef to the pot and stir it all until everything is combined. Now we add in about three to four cups of beef broth to cover everything. Cover the pot for about five minutes to bring it all to a boil. And now we uncover the pot, turn the heat down to medium-low, and simmer for an hour to reduce and thicken the chili. While the chili is simmering, we get to play with the cover of our new Lodge Dutch Oven, which is designed to be a grill pan. And that's really useful for us to prepare a New England delicacy known as Boston Brown Bread, which you can usually find next to the baked beans at the supermarket, unless you make it yourself. We melt butter in the skillet and fry the brown bread slices for about two minutes on each side. And when the chili is ready, it can be served hot. And the best Boston baked beans are always served with our New England brown bread. And here we have some genuine New England style Boston baked chili. My taste tester went wild for this one and I'm glad this chili turned out so well. 
I do hope you give this one a try, as I feel it still has that unmistakable New England taste, and yet it's a little different and something you may not expect. It's also good for serving on those cold New England winter nights to warm you up, and for that reason especially, I hope you enjoy this. Oh, and one more thing. For the eternal argument over whether chili should have beans in it, I'll say that for this dish in particular, yes, this chili has beans. Thank you for watching.